Hey guys, I'm Jacob. You're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I just got a very special package in the mail. My uh, package from Shagat Handmade in Poland just came in. He shipped it on Tuesday, Saturday morning. It is here. Um, so, I'm doing a few things in this video. One, we're doing an open boxing, obviously. I don't like doing unboxings because I just want to open things as soon as I get them. However, I felt that this deserved an open boxing, for sure. Two, we're actually testing a new camera. We have the Sony ZV-1. It's a rather expensive camera, in my opinion, cheap compared to professionals, but uh, we're gonna be testing not only the video quality but also the sound quality. It's supposed to have a directional mic. Uh, and so we have the kids in the background, we have the wife blabbing on the phone, we have everybody making as much noise as they possibly freaking can, and I also have a fan running right behind me. So we're gonna need to get a good idea of the sound quality. Um, so, uh, I guess let's begin. Hopefully you guys can't see my doggone address and what I just flashed you. Uh, we're going to open this up with the Papa Bear Knives uh, Wanderlust. Uh, this knife was um, kind of influenced by the Adventure Craft, which is exciting to me that uh, makers are, are inspired. All right. Now, I sh what I should have done is I should have bugged uh, Michael Shigat about making a t-shirt to send along with it, and I didn't do it. I didn't think of it, and now I'm kicking myself because um, I need to buy a doggone t-shirt from him. My fault, 100%. All right. Now, this package has been opened by customs. I can definitely tell the tops of his boxes have been cut open. The uh, insides have been um, exposed. So this, this is not how he ships his knives. I'm gonna pull out his boxes here in a second, but the tops of his boxes have been cut out. We have the uh, certificate here. It says when the knife was made, the model, the steel, etc. Um, very cool. Let's just go ahead and pull these out up here. The uh, customs guys didn't do him any favors, of course. Doggone. Government employees don't give it rat's butt. So, um, if these packages had not been cut open by customs, this is what the box would have looked like intact. It's a very nice looking setup. All right, and uh, I guess we might as well just continue what they have done here. Um, we've got what. Well, I'll just pull everything out here. We got a cool patch. All right. So here we go. Uh, I always uh, have to look at the least exciting things first. It's the way that I am. So I have to look at everything about the package and everything else before the knife. This is a protector in what looks like a chapstick bottle. And so I'm guessing that this is a rust inhibitor, probably a fat-based. Or it might be a normal chapstick, I don't know. Um, I'll get him to spin me up on that. And I'll let you guys know, probably on Instagram. And by the way, if you're into knives, Instagram is an evil social media like most of them are. Uh, however, if you don't really care about that or you're not really worried or whatever and you just like pictures of knives, finding new knife makers and uh, good photography and bushcraft and stuff, um, it's where I like to post stuff the best. I hate Instagram as 
a moral company. I love Instagram and how it works. So we have the Warrior. This is a belt bushcraft knife. This is Michael's uh, personal type of carry system on the sheath for a universal carry system with two button snaps per loop here so it can be attached by Molly or whatever. Um, these knives are um, carried by Polish Special Forces. And my first impression, we've got a Cerakote finish, and this guy here is Bowler K720. We've got a full flat grind, and um, it's larger than I expected. Um, for some reason in pictures, I did not expect it to be quite as large. But holy guacamole, is this thing beautiful. That edge is nice and crispy thin, nice and sharp. Let's see here. Beautiful. Um, but more pictures of these will be posted both on Instagram and on Facebook. So the Instagram is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. The Facebook is my public figure page, Jacob Beach Peterson. And of course, you will see these also on uh, YouTube. So we've got a rocket sheath. Um, I've heard it referred to as in that when you pop the retention loose, it really pops off. That is fantastic. No rattle, drain holes, absolutely beautiful. All right, and next, um, I wouldn't say that this is the knife that you are all waiting for necessarily, but it just might be. Uh, I wouldn't ever want to outshine the warrior or anything else, but this is the revised Polish tracker. Um, prototype and it is incredibly exciting. I worked with uh, Shagat Michael uh, on his original uh, um, tracker prototype and it was a very exciting blade to me but I felt like it needed a little something something. It's based on his crusher and so Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to show you the sheath first. Beautiful work on this sheath. Again, universal mounting and carry system for Molly, a horizontal carry on a belt, vertical carry on the belt, whatever the heck you like. Beautiful rocket retention here. I hope the sound is good on this camera so I don't just have to rip all of this footage and splice it together without noise or whatever and just get some close-ups or something, but uh, that might be what happens here. So, holy crap. My wife's like, you should have went outside. Well, it's hot as crap outside and also I'm testing a camera sound system so I don't want to right now and I've got a freaking ton of work to do today inside the Polish tracker so the concept here I don't really like tracker knives guys um, because I use the length of my blade too much no Benjamin I use the length of the blade too much and I find that where the tracker quarter round breaks the length of the blade I can't use the knife how I like to, how I normally do. So what Michael has done is he has put the quarter round on the back of the knife. So we have a much thinner edge, still a very um, tough tip, but not as tough as the old prototype and uh, quite the belly. Holy cow, guys. Holy cow. Beautiful jimping. 
handles incredibly comfortable. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's uh, get some close-up footage of both knives. We'll do the Warrior first, and then the Polish Tracker, which by the way, I'm not 100% sure that he's gonna name these the Polish Tracker. Um, and I forgot to talk about specs, because I was really excited about it. This is ADC RV2, and um, uh, the coating on both is uh, uh, Cerakote. So it's a nice, smooth, very hard finish. It's got basically no thickness, and it's not going to drag. I have tested Cerakote on Hogue knives. I'm really a fan. It wears nicely, uh, but it is tough. It does give excellent protection and no drag at all. So you wouldn't really notice the difference between a Cerakoted blade and a raw blade. So with all of that said, let's get some close-up footage here.